Hey guys, welcome back. This is Project Life week 13. Today I'm working with a whole bunch of kind of random stuff, uh, mostly from my stash. Uh, as you can see, I am starting with my photos and I am picking out some cards. Uh, this set of cards is from scrapbook.com. I can never remember the exact name. I think it's something like Everyday Moments. I will link anything that I can down below in the description box for you. But like I said, a lot of it has come from my stash. Uh, I've kind of changed up my photos this week. I had a couple of smaller square ones and I didn't have a whole lot of uh, like four by six landscape photos. So I've added an extra three by four and I've got an extra space for a journaling card or a filler card, some sort of some sort of card like that. So all I'm doing is just sort of filling in the gaps and trying to make things uh, kind of balanced. Lots of the photos, um, I feel like they had kind of a warmer autumnal kind of color scheme, which is why I picked out this set of cards. Um, but I've got a couple of really light ones in there as well. Now I decided instead of adding that second journaling card, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to make a filler card in here because I don't really have a whole lot of journaling for this week. Um, and so instead I'm just going to use the one journaling card and create this filler card. So instead of using one of the cards from that set of cards, I went ahead and grabbed some three by fours out of my stash. Those are just bits of like paper, scrap paper that I have trimmed down so they're a usable size, which means for this sort of application, perfect. I just picked out a couple I liked. Now the first thing I'm going to work on is this 4x6 down the bottom. I have got two sort of ice cream photos here. And so I'm going to use this food story stamp set from Citrus Twist. There's a cute little ice cream icon on there. I'm going to save you watching me repeat stamp this whole card. It did take a little bit of time. I'm using a navy blue ink just to try to tie in that title card. Um, it is very heavy for a title card and I really have kind of avoided using it so far. But... I really love it and I think I think it's going to make a great title card. I just need to work out a way to how to balance that with the rest of the spread. Um, I'm going to attempt to do that today because I've got a few sort of lighter bits and pieces um, but also by using that navy blue ink as often as I can. So I've just adhered down my two little square photos. Um, I also went and grabbed out the uh, washi tape and these label stickers from um, I think it was the April. I don't, I don't really know how the months work for that kit, but the um, Stop the Blur Memory Planner kit from Heidi Swap. Again, I can't remember the exact name. I'll link it down below. Uh, this was kindly sent to me, and I'm trying to use up as much of it as I can. So I added a couple of bits of that washi tape, which is so gorgeous and matches these colors perfectly. Then I stamped a sentiment from that Food Story stamp set onto one of the labels. It's a lot lovely kind of matte paper so it stamps perfectly. I did add another little puffy phrase sticker above it. Those are some really old ones from Rosie Studios and then I added a little gold at Strix chipboard piece. Um, again another super old piece from an old Ellie Edwards kit. I have no idea which one it is. They've been in my stash forever. Now is the time I've decided to use them up. So I'm going to sprinkle them across the spread just to add a little pop. Now I'm going to go ahead and make my filler card here. And I've um, picked out three stamps that I want to stack to make a sentiment. I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto this craft colored cardstock again with the navy blue ink. Um, and then I'm going to use, I think it's a carousel, crepe paper carousel paper. Um, and it's got, again, a little bit of that gold and gold sort of glitter to it. So a little bit of sparkle. And I'm going to add that on top of there. Now the first time I stamped it, you'll see I, I split that stamp in half so that I could stack it. It was one long sentiment. I just cut it with my scissors. No harm on nuclear stamps to do that. Uh, but I didn't like how it stamped the first time. So I'm going to re-stamp it, this time one stamp at a time. I was trying to be clever and it never works, does it? I've stamped them much closer together. Uh, and I've also left a tiny little gap for this knife and fork set here. So I'm going to stamp that in there. I've just created this like a little center sentiment clustery um, a piece. It's not chipboard obviously, it's just cardboard. Um, but it's gonna just, I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit fancier than this. 
Uh, I'm going to back that again with a little bit. I want to add some navy. So I'm going to grab another one of these journal cards. Uh, you're not going to see a whole lot of the floral pattern. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm going to trim it down and just mount it onto this. So there's only very, not even a quarter of an inch around the outside of each edge. But it just lifts it off that pattern paper a little bit. It adds a bit more of that navy, a little bit more of that darkness. And I can't believe actually how much that really helped with the balance. Just adding a little bit more of that. That navy blue onto that side so I feel happy now I can go ahead and finish the rest of the spread and then do my title card now this one here it, I need a four by six card anyway so I just adhered my three by four photo on top of the card then add my little uh, little photo there and I've added another one of those puffy stickers and I'm desperately trying to get one of these chipboard stickers to come out they keep peeling off the chipboard. Maybe that's because it's so old. I don't know. But the sticker part kept being left in the sheet. So eventually I got one. I'm not going to waste those two. I just didn't feel like pulling out the glue at this point. But I will later on because this just keeps happening again and again and again. Now this is a food stamp set, but that doesn't mean there's not like generic stamps on there that you can use for your own purposes. I find that with themed sets, there's always ways of using them for something else. So I have stacked a couple of other sentiments. I've stamped them onto my very clean white desktop there. Uh, and I'm going to add another one of those stickers just to kind of tie it all in. But I... I do want to leave some of these a little bit whiter, a little bit blanker, um, just because I've got this heavy card here that I'm going to attack now. Now, one of the things I have pulled out of my stash were these uh, Dear Lizzie uh, foam thickers. What a nightmare. <laughs> I can see now why they were on special. Um, I'm going to save you watching this because what a nightmare it was every time I pulled a foam piece off the sheet the backing paper came up with it so I end up having to peel every single letter basically twice it, it took so long and <laughs> so long it's a cute little set so I refuse to kind of get rid of it um, it is a pain though I've got two more E's left and then I think I will be done with that set I've added my title right into the middle there, into the middle of that sort of navy blue. I'm going to add another one of those label stickers. I'm going to date stamp it. And then I'm going to add um, another one of the asterisks. This time I'm going to add one of the ones I've already pulled off. I didn't want to start, you know, having these loose chipboard pieces to deal with. So I decided just to bite the bullet and use some glue. I'm using a little bit of smart glue from scrapbook.com. Um, it dries super quick. So normally I worry about using liquid media in my project life because I don't want to wait for it to dry this one dries super quick so I don't have to worry too much about being too careful the other loose one that was there I'm just going to pop that on top of that uh, filler card as well I figured I've added asterisks to so many of them now I might as well keep going uh, so I did add another one to that one as well now I've got a couple of photos left the first one I'm going to deal with is my coffee photo uh, for a food stamp set, there were very few coffee-related stamps on there, so I found one. I found the one coffee coffee stamp on there. It's a little checklist, so I decided to partially ink up the sentiment. It says give me more. I've just inked up the give me part, um, and then I've gone to stamp this little checklist, and I'm, I'm glad I checked it. I checked it on some scrap paper first. This stamp has a little bit of a kind of anomaly to it. You can see down the bottom right corner of it it's got a really raised piece that's not supposed to be raised um, I ended up cutting off as much as I could with my scissors um, I, the whole stamp just isn't really formed properly so when I stamped it I badly stamped it trying to avoid that raised piece um, um, but the E the last E on the coffee isn't really formed either so I just drew that in with a gel pen I refused not to have the partially stamped thing there so I'm gonna fill that in I added another asterisk uh, and I was gonna leave this as it is I've only got one photo that I've done nothing with though and it kind of seems weird to me that there's this one with nothing so again I'm gonna use that same sort of recipe that I've been doing I've got a label sticker I'm gonna add a little bit of washi tape to me it made sense because I have only used the washi tape in that one place and I only had two labels. So adding that other one gives me my three of both of those. I did just need to swap those photos around so that the labels weren't right on top of each other. And that is this week all done. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple more videos here for you. Otherwise, I'll see you again next time. Bye guys.